um, hope you're doing all right today. So we've got another reaction. We've got another thing from Frontiers. So we've got the Grand Master. So I, I saw this come up, obviously, um, as a notification, but I couldn't get round to it, or I, I thought, oh, I will get round to listening to that, and I forgot about it. I was at work, and I forgot about it, but one of my subscribers, long-term subscribers, actually, Greg Bircham, messaged me and said, um, have a listen to this, um, and he said about the singer in it, you know, great singer, um, and of course, I had a look and I thought, oh yeah, that's Nando Fernandez. So um, the Grand Master featuring Nando Fernandez and Jens Ludwig. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And this is a song called Someday, Someday Somehow. So yeah, thanks for Greg for like, you know, give me a bit of a nudge on this one. So Frontiers, like I said, debut album. So it's a project if you like, because um, Jens Lud Ludwig, sorry, he's out of Ed Guy sort of power metal band. Um, I don't know if they're together anymore because it's obviously Tobias Samet who now does the um, Avantasia stuff. Uh, and he's actually with this vocalist, Nando Fernandez, who I've heard in Brother Against Brother and he's got a great voice, really powerful voice. Um, and it says they've got together for a stunning melodic metal masterpiece. That's what it says in the, comp in the um, synopsis here. So they got together to do this album. So I don't know if it's put together by obviously the director, Serafino Peregino. Easy for me to say. <laughs> so obviously he's Brazilian, Nando Fernandes. Um, and, you know, he's got that really powerful classic metal voice along the lines of Ronnie James Dio, Yawn Londe, Russell Allen. It says it here, but yes, I would definitely agree with all those um, comments in the synopsis. So this album, like I said, is coming out as 11 tracks going to be on it. Also, you've got Alessandro Del Vecchio, of course, on bass and keyboards, backing vocals, and Mirko De Mayo on the drums. So, yep, yeah, melodic metal along the same lines, probably as Brother Against Brother. Um, and it's good. It's going to be good to hear Nando Fernandez on his own. Because them two guys who um, who did the Brother Against Brother, he's the lead singer of that other band. I can't remember the other singer right now, but he's another great vocalist. And sometimes, you know, the, the two vocalists don't quite match or you sometimes can't tell who it is, But they because they've both got really powerful voices. They're both great singers. So it's nice to hear Nando Fernandez. Well, I think it'd be nice to hear Nando Fernandez on his own. So let's get on with this. The Grandmaster, like I said, this is out on October the 15th this year as well, so that's not too long. The Grandmaster, featuring Nando Fernandez and Jens Ludwig, Someday, Somehow.
Let's give it a quick stop there. I'm not sure if there's going to be a, some sort of change or solo or something like that. His voice is fucking amazing. He's so powerful. Um, it's like he puts everything, absolutely every bit of his <laughs> inch of his body into singing, you know, those vocals. So powerful, so powerful. Um, that's the, the main thing for me on this song. This song sounds like quite a few other projects that I've heard. I mean, it sounds a lot like the brother against brother stuff. You know, that melodic metal, symphonic a touch, that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's nothing wrong with it, but the trouble is, you know, there's a lot of this stuff at the moment. So much of it. I don't know, it sort of gets lost. And I, my, one of my words I use in the plethora of this sort of music, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I love the fact that we've got so much music now to listen to. But does this stand out? Amongst all those melodic metal stuff, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But, I mean, you've got to appreciate the musicianship and the vocals and the guitar. You know, everything about the song. And, you know, if this was released, I don't know, 15 years ago, it would be something that would probably blow your mind. But over the last, you know, 10 or so years... There's been so much of this, and I think it started really from the Alan Londe projects. This sort of music started, and I love that, the Alan Londe, and it, it sounded different, and it was amazing. And it, But there's been a lot of stuff since then that sounds like that stuff. You know, and I think sometimes you need to carve your own niche when it comes to making music. It's one of the most important things. It's not about how good you are, can sing. It's not about how good you can, you know, um, play the guitar. It's it's sometimes about how inventive you are and how original you are. The trouble with this song, what I'm hearing at the moment, is it going to get lost in all that other music that sounds very similar? And, it, you know, there's a problem with a lot of things these days. There's the music coming out of Sweden. I just mentioned this on my last reaction. It's brilliant. I love the music coming out of Sweden, but a lot of it's starting to sound the same. And that can be a bit dangerous. That can be a bit dangerous. People can have enough of the same stuff constantly. This is nothing wrong with this song at all. It's lacking originality. That's the only thing I would say. And like I said, if this was, there was nothing like this out and you heard this song, you'd be blown away. But I think it's just, there's a lot of it at the moment. Just my thoughts. <laughs> probably going to get a bollocking but let's just not take away his great voice this guy he's got an amazing voice he's so powerful i'd like to hear him sing on something a bit different and not be stuck in that melodic metal stuff that you hear so much of anyway this is the rest of this now
Yeah, I mean, as I was listening to the guitar solo there, I was thinking, oh man, you know, what great guitarists there are out here. And this guy out of Ed guy, Jens Ludwig, I hope I'm pronouncing that right again. Um, he's a great guitarist, great solo. I like his guitar tone as well. It's a really nice sound on his guitar. I just, you know, I'm, I'm sticking with what I said halfway through. I just think it's lacking originality a little bit. Um, there's just so many of this, this bands that sound like this, you know, projects that sound like this, that it's going to, is it going to get lost? Is it going to get lost in all that music, you know, and it, is it going to come and go? I hope not, because it's good for what it is. And like I said, that's the only thing it's lacking is originality. You know, there's nothing wrong with the song. Heard it before, that's all. I've heard it quite a few times before. And it all started, like I said, with Jung, uh, the Alan Londay project, if you like. They're, those first few albums, I think that's where this, this started. With that sort of um, symphonic, and it even done this, a sort of like a little musical passage at the beginning, a little symphonic passage before it goes into the song, and then it maybe break down, it goes into that sort of thing again. There's a lot of this, and I'm, I just want some originality a little bit. But, and there's a lot of people who will like this, and there's a lot to like. The vocals are just amazing, obviously, from Nando Fernandez. I think that's it. He's Nando Fernandez, yeah. He's just got an, an absolutely uh, brilliant voice. And perhaps, you know, if I heard him singing something else that was a bit different, I think it needs a bit more back to basics. It needs a bit more guitar, less symphonic stuff. I think that sometimes it just needs some of that, some sort of brutal sort of stuff and imagine hearing him singing aggressively over a real guitar based song I'm not saying this ain't guitar based but it's a lot of other stuff that's going on as well I'd like to hear him just up, maybe just behind some you know drums um drums bass and guitar not you know no keyboard soaking the whole lot a bit like the you know the, the the dio albums especially the first couple imagine this guy singing over those sort of that sort of music Anyway, let me know what you think of this uh, song in the comments below and I'll see you next time.